you want to be the most valuable player. I mean, score a touchdown every time you go to the tailgate. Well, folks, we got the recipe for you. Pork belly burnt ends. Cheaper than brisket, and by gosh, it even tastes better. There is a cherry glaze that go on top. Most valuable player in the universe. Right there you be. Hey, thank y'all for stopping by, and what are we talking about? Burnt ends, but we're talking about poor man burnt ends, poor belly burnt ends. You know, I love burnt ends, but briskets, oh my gosh, it just keeps going up. Time after time you go to the grocery store, I think they've got gold in some of them briskets, I do. But get your butcher to get you a pork belly. You talk about the ultimate flavor when we get through with this deal, smoking it good and slow. But a cherry apple glaze to go on this thing, oh my gosh, with a little hot sauce. This is the perfect tailgate football season. Hoorah, your team gonna go, cheer for them all. But really, folks, it is very important to be the best dressed one at your tailgate party. And we'd like to thank Ariat for sponsoring this video because folks, we're talking about comfortable. The only boots I've ever bought in my life that you could Whoa. want, go to the store, put them on, and go to hey, the ball game. You need to do some pre-game stretching. Yes. Yeah, so like, Put it right here and then give you one of these deals, one of these deals, and hoorah, touchdown. That's what I'm talking about. I'm going all the way. Ain't that a pretty piece of hog meat laying right there? It's about three and a half pounds it is, and that's what I recommend starting with this because when you go to that butcher, you're not very often gonna see one of these just sitting in the butcher case. Ask him, can you get me a pork belly with the skin off of it? And we ain't gonna trim none of this excess goodness off of there because we need all that to render down while it's over there smoking. Folks, you can buy four of these for what one brisket costs. Now, I do like to see some meat when I'm looking for a pork belly. So when you get this pork belly and you get it out there, I like to go ahead, if there's anything left on here moisture-wise, and get this wiped off really well. It's going to help that seasoning adhere to it. And Big said, if is there is any leftover, oh, here was one already, Big, just sitting there. Yes, it was. Oh, Make, everybody's coming up. Uh, Y'all are going to have to wait. Y'all are going to have to wait. I'm just promising you that. And really, these things really cut up better when they're in the freezer about 40 minutes before you start. So I just need you to come over here, I'd say inch and a half, okay? But if you think, oh, them's too big of bites, back it over here to an inch. But we're just gonna start right here and just slice all the way across. Now, when we pull this out there to where we can see what we're dealing with, look in there, oh my gosh, don't that be looking like some kind of good? Big says, ah, just slice me some off down here, Dad. I am sure enough ready. I think there might be a bite right here at the end of this deal, Big. I ain't for sure, but we'll make sure that all of you get to try this out. Now, while this is going on, I need you to go ahead, preheat that smoker to about 260 degrees, between 250 and 275. We are starting with some Fogo hardwood lump. Then we're going to add some chunks of different wood to it. This little piece here that's coming off the end, puppies, just Ooh. didn't come out right. So we're gonna move this right over here and oh, cut yeah. it up into puppy bites. And Cletus, since you're a big puppy, your bite will be bigger than anybody else's. First, Cletus, thank you for coming over, buddy. We appreciate it. Duker, Lulu, where is the mage? That's a pretty big bite for you, mage. Where you at? I can't even find you. You're so little. There you go. <laughs> Big, thank you for always being here, buddy. I appreciate it. Now, everybody back off. We're through for a while. Turn her back around, and we're just going to cube it about the same size as this is right here. Just cut straight across, because bacon, when it cooks, everybody knows it sort of shrinks just a little. Ooh, Big, you nearly got another bite. That one was trying to fall off.
cubed up and the smoker is preheated to 250 so let's put some seasoning on it and get it over there to get after it now we're going to start with our rib rub and i'm just going to put about yo much in there and then we're going to add some more coarse ground black pepper because i think we need it now our rib rub does have some brown sugar in it but folks we're going to need a little more so we're going to put some of that in there get that mixed up really well so let's go to sprinkling and go to rubbing in so make sure everybody gets some of this stuff because we want it seasoned really well to the start oh. let me get this here use your full pan if you got it but me i ain't got one so we're going to use this cast iron but anytime you're cooking something with brown sugar in it and it's going to be in there for that long it's going to be hard to clean, folks, so we're going to put us a little lining of aluminum foil in there. And oh, no. this could be one of them deals where it's sort of like saran wrap. It strikes again. Yes. We're just going to go ahead. Bear with us, folks, because this might take an hour. I don't know why they don't want to make it to where it is easy to come off there. Got the knife in it, okay. So, here we go. You can see the wind is not in our favor. Try to get the bottom line pretty good. Now with that, we're gonna need a wire rack because I want that to be up off there to get some circulation. So, now, just go lay them on here any way you want. You find one that ain't broke to golf together make sure that everybody is separated if we got room i'm gonna try to leave a little room in between each one of them so there's no overcrowding to where that smoke can get to everybody but if they're touching it ain't gonna hurt folks ain't that a pretty sight the boat is full but i don't really think there's enough fat and enough flavor in there right now shan oh really i don't think there is so i think what this really needs to make it even better is we're going to cube a stick of butter up and lay in here because this is what you call good eating and we don't want to leave butter out of this because when you can have butter and bacon in the same meal hey it is a good deal so get you a stick of butter Our Roughneck Smoker is going, and there be a link down there below if you're wanting to check out this. It is a great little smoker, it is. But hey, the good folks at Smoky Woods sent me some stuff to try, so I'm gonna try it out. I done added some of their hickory wood and some of their cherry to this. I chose hickory, because when you go to the store and you're looking at bacon, a lot of it will say it is hickory cured. But folks, I really like some fruit wood if I'm gonna go ahead and pair it up with some pork as well. So I'm choosing cherry today, but I'm gonna let you in on a little secret because there is gonna be some cherry to it again, but we're talking a cherry glaze to go on top with some what? Hot sauce gonna be oh so good, folks. We're gonna go ahead and shut this door just a little. Go ahead and open this one. You can see the smoke is rolling, but you gotta be in the exact right spot for the lid to shut. Oh, and we got lucky the first time. What I really like about this smokers is you can cinch that down airtight. Same down here. We're gonna cook at a temperature of about 255, 260 degrees long in there. It's probably gonna cook about two hours and 45 minutes because I need that internal temperature of that bacon to be about 170, 175 before we make the magic happen again. Well, two hours and 38 minutes exactly. And we have probed it. We are at the magic 165 to 170 there. So let's get them over here to the table. Whew. I'm already thinking that I could eat four or five of them, Sadie. We'll shut this lid. We are gonna add some more stuff to them. Another stick of butter. So just cut it up, put her in there any way you want to. Some more brown sugar. This is sort of like pig candy, but it's just smoked. And uh, 
I don't think you can go wrong here. You put as much or as little as you'd like, I don't think you could ever have too much. Make sure you get her sealed up tight. We're gonna run about 265 to 270 again. And let it go for one hour, then we're gonna add a glaze to it. Oh my gosh, y'all be wanting to show up for this. Remember, have a big spot where you're tailgating because you're gonna draw a crowd with this. hours and 38 minutes, we put the tin foil on them. We did, and we let them cook for one more hour. Took that tin foil off there, and oh, they look so pretty. Put them in that foil pan, mixed us up some glaze there, and dumped over the top of them, stirred them just a little. Put them back over there on that smoker at 275, uncovered for about 15 minutes. Let them things cool, but look at that color, and that sauce stuck to them so well it did. I just can't hardly wait. If it burns my mouth, I'm gonna cry like a baby. Mm. Mm. Talking about the boot scooting boogie. Cause you can scoot boot and boogie in these boots from Harriet because what? They come from as soon as you put them on, they are. Mm. But I'm guarantee you folks, this will take the place of ham at Thanksgiving, at Christmas. You cannot go wrong with this dish and is really so easy to do. You will be the hit of the tailgate and the ball game for sure. People will be asking you to come back, even for the visitors team, they will. Who are you rooting for this year? Who am I rooting for? I'm rooting for the one that's gonna win. That's who I'm gonna root oh, for. for real. Who, who's your team? Well, I'm gonna have to see about them Oklahoma State Cowboys, but I'll be really thinking about maybe some prime time up there, Colorado, Dion, cause I know he'll do wonders up there, so. But we'd like to thank the folks at Ariat so much for supporting our channel, because folks, when they support our channel, it helps us what? Helps us be looking better all the time, it does, but also helps us create more content for y'all. I'd really like to tip my hat to them good folks out there because they have been behind us for quite some time now, and we are proud to wear their stuff and share it with y'all. It is with great pride and honor that I tip my hat to all our servicemen and women and all the veterans who have kept that old flag a-flying. No matter where we're at, we commend you all. The rest of you, come on up in here pretty close because I'm going to slobber on you with some of this bacon grease. I am. God bless you each and every one, and I'll see you down the best pork belly burnt-in trail ever. Jiminy Cricket. Big says if you drop one, I will be there to pick it up, I promise. Nobody's so attentive. Everybody's looking forward to this one, I think, on the samples. Whoa. Oh no. It's gonna be hot, whoever finds it. Hot. Who's the hot? Looks like I'm gonna do it. Woo! <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to watch the camera and throw it. <laughs>